been on and off, working, not working, working, not working. And I found it low capacity the other day, but now it's got the click of death. Listen. Get your fans running. Compressor's not in the click. Wait for it. Compressor change out on this little guy. I just got it unplugged there. This up here. And there it is. I had changed it once before. I don't know what the date was. Probably before I started using the paint pens. Thinking 2007. Yeah, 2007 we had changed it. We're going to change it again. On the high side, we're hooked up on the low side. Hit gauges. Into the recovery. In the tank. Let's turn on Mr. 45. The Mr. 45. I'm only I'm only pulling through the high side right now. Recovery on this on this unit so fast. Tiny little unit. Now I got both sides open. This is silly. Suction lines out, discharge lines out. I got the mounting bolts out. This, which is the drain pan and the deal, will take this whole unit off, off of the freezer. They could do a deep clean on the condenser and change out that condenser fan motor. That thing's old. This was going down. back together and the stubs on these you can't get a 3 8 coupling on the compressor stub so I'll take my flaring block and squeeze the pipe down right to where you can get the, the 3 8 coupling on the pipe NorCal's tip of the day bing 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 and I gotta braise this up raise that up after showing you the tip of the day cue the music uh 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 the YouTube police, the you I'm purging the nitrogen, baby. They're gonna get you, they're gonna get me. The YouTube police, the YouTube police. Haha. -ha.
pad right there. I haven't started it yet. I'm using the two three eighths by quarter inch yellow jacket vacuum hoses. It has a quarter inch fitting on one end, the three eighths fitting on the other. I got the valve core tools on. The Schraders are out, and I'm using the field piece vacuum pump. Let's rock it. We'll tune back in and see how we do. She's sleeping right now. Oh, let's see how she does. I'm at 310 microns in four minutes. That's with the two yellow jacket heavy duty charging hoses, or you can call them vacuum hoses. Quarter inch connectors uh, to hook up to your system and three eighths on this side with the valve core tool removal removers. The Schraders are out. I got them right there nestled right there. Uh, only five minutes in, and I'm at 299, 298. So. And that's with the field piece 8 CFM vacuum pump, the VP85, kicking some mega butts right there. Check out this vacuum pump oil. I've been, I just changed it again in the uh, field piece. Some dirty, dirty, rotten systems out there. I had this last week. This is just, this is just this week. About, I don't know four or five compressor changes with the uh, field piece vacuum pump and it's nice you can see the oil there with the light shining back through it but nasty I'm getting it charged up right now I got about 12 ounces in you'll see my gauges are wonky because I got it on Bluetooth right here so it's broadcasting over to my tablet and what I haven't done in a long time on the Bluetooth version of the 550s is update my refrigerant list. I'm trying to get it to focus for you guys. There it goes. You don't have to put all the refrigerants on your manifold, just the ones you check with the green box. You can see I had 448 on there, but not 449A, which is out there. So I'm going to get that one scrolled in. There's the other ones I've been using. So if you, if you go to the app and you check all this stuff, there's 92 refrigerants to choose from. I'm only selected 15. Um, so you can add refrigerants to these and take them off from the app. Remember the 550s are Bluetooth. Um, so I'm done with that. Transfer to instrument. Take one minute. Continue. Boop. So now it's loading up to my manifold. And I just added 449A because that is out there. And I will come across it. So now it'll be in my manifold. And we'll be in good shape. So I thought I'd show you guys that real quick. All right, welcome to the bonus coverage. If you ever wondered on the horchata machines, you know, the drinks are spinning around on the top. How to change out the drive motor on one of those, I'll show you. It, this is the replacement motor. Bolts in the, up in top, you just take all the, the covers off. It'll be two 7 16 bolts. It takes the whole plate out with the motor. And then there's a magnet that goes on with the set screw right on the shaft right here. And then the top piece is also a magnet, or they call it a bearing, that sits on top that has your impeller. Now these wear out quite a bit. Once you see that indentation inside of there, then you know they're worn out. Um, then they don't like to spin anymore. And there's also this collar is replaceable too. It's like a, they call it a bearing on there. So we'll take these off. One on each side, and then you can get the motor out. You can see how that's just on a plate. We'll get these out of here. Okay, once you get those off the plate, and this is this, 
there's two 7 16 nuts. Get a nut driver at the edge of your evaporator. Get those loose. And then you'll be able to get enough space to lift it up, you know, to wiggle it out of there. And I'll show you just. There it is. It's just a magnet on the shaft that spins underneath the plate there on a motor. That's all it is. With the set screw. So we're going to take that off, change the motor. Real simple. We're not all the time, and I'll show you. So I, I got the wires hooked back up to the two motors. No nada. And if you take them off and you look, see that groove in there like that? It's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be flush. So what you can do is flip them upside down to test. This one's worn out also. Flip it upside down to test. See how it's flush? Everything's flush. Uh, too much light. And then the bottom is all ate up. And that part's recessed. Flip them upside down. Now turn them on. Everybody's happy.